Hi everybody, it's Kimberly here, president and owner of How We Fund It, and I'm creating a series of short little posts about the How We Fund It system and how it can really work to increase um, you know, the ability of communities to thrive. And this little post I want to talk about, about locally owned businesses and how much fun I have been having in my own community of Coeur d'Alene, where I've lived for 20 years, as I have gone and walked into one locally owned business after another, talked to the owners, talked to the managers, told them about how we fund it, how it can work for them, and what it, you know, the benefit it can bring to our community. And I'll just have to say, like, like I mentioned, I've lived here a long time, and so most of these different stores and places, um, you know, whether it's food, coffee, uh, great, you know, local breweries, um, boutiques, and whatnot. I've seen them as I've driven by. Many of them I have been into, some of them I haven't. And one of the things that I have really started to sense and, and feel more than I ever have before is really what a difference locally owned businesses make to our community. Now, granted, I do live in a really great town. Coeur d'Alene is known nationwide. You can hardly talk to anybody who, you know, travels or, you know, kind of has a, um, you know, broader sense of, of, of the world or the country we live in who hasn't heard about Coeur d'Alene. It is a resort town. We have, we're right on the shores of a beautiful lake. There's mountains around. So, you know, we ski in the winter. We do water sports in the summer. There's hiking, biking. There's Ironman triathlon here every summer. It is a great place, place to live. And even doubly so, because of all that uh, tourist activity, it really helps, uh, you know, create and um, I guess feed uh, resources into a thriving, uh, you know, like small small business community. So uh, I definitely am reaping the benefit of that. But here I have, I've lived in this town for that long, and I haven't yet really made it a habit to, to continually uh, spend money and, and use my own resources at my, the locally owned businesses. My in my entire life, I've um, kind of had the concept of, you know, trying to save money as much as I can and spend less, uh, get more. And so I did, for for example, for clothing and um, and other things as well. I would be more likely to shop at places like uh, Nordstrom Rack or, um, you know, other kinds of. I don't know. I have a few places of, of, of you know shops that I go to. They're not locally owned. They're like chains and whatever that I could, you know, try to buy as much as I could for as little little as I could. And I have to say that I currently, for the last two years in starting up this business, I haven't had resources, I haven't even been buying clothes or anything for the most part. So um, I'm, I'm due. I'll be doing some shopping here as soon as this gets launched and I have some money for once. But when I do, I'm really committed more than ever before to buying local. Buying local first really needs to be something that, that people... Um, shift their thinking into for so many reasons. For one, it is these small businesses that make our communities great. And without the support of local um, local residents, they really are not going to be able to exist. And secondly, it um, we need to shift into that kind of a, of a way of thinking and living because more and more we should be doing everything that we can to uh, you know lessen our imprint and our effect on on the you know the larger picture and larger scheme of of you know mass production so whether it's um you know from you know from like the perspective of things being shipped long ways like there's a there's a soap making um store right in town and they literally it's in the they, they make the soap in the basement of of a one of the shops in right down in downtown Coeur d'Alene and then they bring it upstairs. <laughs> so we're really talking about, except for bringing their materials in, and I know they source as much as, of their materials as they can locally. So right here in our own town, there's resources like that. Why are we spending money on buying things and shipping it from long distances when there's things that we can buy locally? So as we uh, really work toward helping our communities thrive, Understand that that every decision, whether you're if you're a consumer, because we all are, um, every decision, every time that you can shift a little bit of your spending toward a local business instead of one that's you know national chain, is even better. And even even more so if you can um, commit to buying those resources of things that are locally produced as well. So the How We Fund It system helps people do that by 
by creating this circle of support where we're helping promote locally owned businesses where at no cost to the business they can participate for zero out of pocket costs. They put offers into the app that we donate. Um, we give the app to use for schools and nonprofits. So basically they're donating those offers to the schools and nonprofits who then give it to members and then members pay a monthly fee of support to the school or nonprofit. And then they go use the app at the locally owned businesses, save a little bit of money on every, on, you know, the purchases that you would make. And then that way you're bringing your business into those places that really help your community be, be great. The total impact of the How We Fund It system in a community is huge. I am a spreadsheet queen. I love to run numbers and I love to, you know, make, make spreadsheets work for me. And I've calculated out if every person, every member on average saved $50 a month using their How Wallet app by shopping locally, eating locally, everything that they did locally, they saved $50 a month. And for every $50 a month, they spend at least $100 at the locally owned businesses, which actually they're probably going to spend a little bit more than that. But they saved 50, spent 100, and gave their monthly support to the school nonprofit. In a, a community the size of Coeur d'Alene could, could easily end up with 10,000 How We Fund It members. If 10,000 How We Fund It members saved $50 a month and spent $100 a month and gave 15 to, between $15 and $25 a month to the school nonprofit of their support, they would have an annual economic impact of $26 million in that community. That is huge. And I just want to show you guys how, how we fund it is actually a system that helps, helps increase this, make this happen. And it is also a system that basically tracks it. So before where you might have been shopping at these locally owned businesses anyway, and you might have been donating to schools and nonprofits anyway, maybe weren't able to actually measure how all of that support works together. But with this system, where we actually increase how much people give to locally owned uh, local businesses and schools, and we also increase how much people spend at locally owned businesses, and then we're able to track that and, and get the benefit of the businesses donating the offers to the schools. The schools give the offers to you. You spend your money at the businesses, and it just keeps on going for this continuous circle and, pro and you know continuous support of your community and the effect that it can have. Twenty six million dollars or more per year in a community where there's just 10,000 How We Fund It members and a network of business sponsors. So I just encourage you to start shopping local first and especially do it using the How We Fund It system so that you can help our community become stronger and better economically for a better future and a better tomorrow.